Welcome into the End of Money Podcast, Saturday, September 6th at Kentucky Downs. I'm Tom Leach, along with Jim Goodman, Keeneland's Director of Wagering Development. As was the case last Saturday, it's an all-stakes pick four, all-graded stakes, three, four grade threes that start in the seventh race down in Franklin, Kentucky. So we're going to go through all of them and then uh, try to hit you a pick four. Uh, we'll start in the seventh race with the Run Happy Turf Sprint, six furlongs. I would suspect off that big 108 buyer last time that Leinster would be a big favorite. What do you think on this one? Yeah, I think he will be. Um, you're talking about four grade threes. It's a pretty nice grade three because there's $700,000 purse here. Yeah. So, for, for Kentucky bread. So, and a grade three in a minute uh, here, it's going to be a million-dollar purse. Yeah, that, I, they give away so, so much money down there. There's no wonder they get such good races. And this this looks more like a grade two or, you know, the Stormy Liberal, obviously, won the Breeders' Cup Turf Sprint last year, so has, has won a grade one. I think Langston is going to be the favorite. Uh, it's amazing it took them so long to, to uh, put him on the turf because he could not run a step on the dirt. It took him, uh, what, 15 starts to, to or 13 starts to break his maiden. Then they put him on the turf. He's three for three. So uh, I guess he ran him on the turf one time before that Gulf Stream, but he's won three in a row. Uh, the Troy Stakes at Saratoga was very impressive, beat Disco Partner. And pure sensation, it came back and won last weekend. So, yeah, I think he's going to be a favorite, but I don't think you can discount Stormy Liberal. Um, he's not running what, like he was last year, and you don't know how, what the Dubai trip took out of him. Uh, in the Green Flash at Del Mar, a five furlong race, which was obviously a, a, a prep for this one, uh, that's probably a $200,000 grade three. Uh, he, he just kind of ran even, and, you know, didn't, I don't know if they didn't try with him. Six furlongs is probably going to be a little bit better for him, although he's, he's 0 for 5 at the distance. I think he'll like six furlongs to Kentucky down. So uh, I'm going to take him to Linus. is going to be my favorite in premise. The horse for uh, Joe Orsino coming out of the Ascot race meet. Uh, won the Shaker Town at Keeneland last year. Had a 109 buyer before that Gulf Stream, so you got to put him in there. And uh, the other horse I would use is White Flag, and that, that's going to be my price horse in here, 8-1 to one for Rosario and Christophe Vermont. But I like horses that have run well at Kentucky Downs, and this horse only lost by head in this race last year to Pro Forma. So the horse, uh, you know, has, has been okay this year, but obviously has shown an affinity for the track. So uh, that's the four horses I like. Um, I don't know that I bet Leinster at, at two to one. It's going to be three to one morning line. Uh, might try to find a little more value in this race with White Flag, but uh, going to use at least those four in the pick four. I'm on the same four. I just took Leinster to win. Off that, uh, those last few races started back at Keeneland in the spring, and uh, but I, I think you're spot on with White Flag. That's uh, the one I'd written down. Uh, almost won this race last year, and uh, dangerous if he gets off anywhere close to that price. So Leinster for me in the Run Happy Turf Sprint. The eighth race is the Grade Three Three Chimneys Ladies Turf. This is a mile on the turf. I went with Storm the Hill uh, here. Uh, main angle for me was Bejarano coming in to keep the mount on this horse. Uh, of course, there's, they're not running at Santa Anita right now, so uh, there's not as much going on in California, but uh, and this is obviously a big purse. But still, it's a, a long trip, and he's been on this horse, and um, I thought this horse uh, ran here last fall. So uh, as you've said, that's always a, a good angle to follow. But uh, not a standout for me. Viva Vegas, uh, Fort Mitchell. Uh, I think Sensitive and Kaleo um, are possibilities, too. They might look uh, a, a notch below the best in here, but uh, I think those two could uh, either one be in the mix. So I'm going to use all five when we get to the pick four and spread out in this race. Storm the Hill, the win pick, though, in the Three Chimneys Ladies Turf. How about you? Yeah, uh, Bayerano, uh, just for your information, uh, rode Thursday uh, here as well. So I think he probably came for the whole weekend. I think he's... <laughs> looked at the money and said, I can ride here to Los Alamitos. So, and Los Alamitos is hosting the county fair, so there's no money out there. So he did come in and ride on Thursday. Um, I like his horse in here off that second in the yellow ribbon at, at Del Mar, but uh, I took Mitchell Road here uh, for Rosario and Bill Mott. I really looked at, at the other horses I liked, and none of them really want the lead. Mitchell Road does want to leave. He didn't get it in the Diana, but that's a grade one. And, and Sister Charlie, uh, she won that race, and Mitchell Road was was right there with her. Got beat six and three quarters, but, you know, got beat at the end. It was She was only three lengths out at the half-mile marker. And after four wins in a row uh, at Fairgrounds, Pimlico, and Gulfstream and Aqueduct. So 
uh, she's been really tough this year, and I think that uh, her speed may bode her well here on this mile turf course at Kentucky Downs. I'll use Storm the Hill behind her. I'll use Simply Breathless for Neil Drysdale shipping in. We've talked about Drysdale before. He, he ships in, and, and he's always live. And Kaleo, the horse that I had at 10-1 to 1 for Brendan Walsh, uh, who won a race on Thursday earlier, uh, and he's this horse, uh, she won the uh, Kentucky Down previews uh, at Ellis Park, and she's also one for one at Kentucky Downs, uh, won a maiden special way here last September. So those four are the ones I'm going to use, but Mitchell Road will be my win pick at the three chimneys ladies turf. Ninth race, the grade three spendthrift ladies sprint. Uh, this one uh, half a furlong longer than the other sprint we looked at at six and a half furlongs on the uh, undulating turf course down there at Kentucky Downs. How'd you see this one? You know, you talked about a horse last week that you, you just couldn't win on, and I think Morticia is that, that horse for me. <laughs> uh, she's, uh, she's always right there, uh, and she gets beat by a neck at Churchill, and a five and a half furlong is a favorite. She's, she's gone off as a favorite six races in a row, and she's won two of those. So it would be a very, very shaky win kick for me, but I still think she outclasses these other horses in here. Uh, she ran okay at, at Kentucky Downs. And her only only trip over the tracks to finish third. Uh, but I'm also going to use painting corners for Peter Miller and Alexandra, the horse that beat uh, that beat her in the Smart and Fancy at Saratoga back in the 17th of August. So um, those I'm going to narrow it down to three. This this race didn't come up as strong as, as some of the others. Um, so I think between Morticia and Alexandra and in painting corners at uh, a price eight to one. I think I've got this one covered. Uh, you may like somebody else, but I'm going to stick with those three. Yeah, I am going uh, elsewhere. I'm a little bit against Morticia. I'm going to keep, have her on the ticket, but uh, those uh, two consecutive uh, subpar buyer figures scare me a little bit. Um, so it, it, the thing is, if I can beat her, then I could see a lot of uh, horses having a shot, and so I'm going to go uh, extra deep here. I ended up going to Raven's Lady for the win pick. Uh, I, I really like Julian Le Peru on this track, even though he uh, did not get off to a fast start. But uh, I do think he uh, fits this track. His style fits this track well. Uh, second off a layoff uh, for Ben Cohn. And this horse kept some good company in the spring. And I'm thinking, well, lay, him off, lay her off for a while. Come back, get a prep into her before you go for the big money. So I'm going to try Raven's Lady for a little bit of an upset. But I'm also going to have... Uh, a little bit of me, the four, Painting Corners, the six, Alexandra, the three, uh, five, Coexistence, who, and who's also run well in the past at Kentucky Downs, and then Morticia. So going deep. But Raven's Lady is uh, is the win pick, and I'll key her with those others in exactas within the race. Uh, gets us to the 10th race. It's the grade three Calumet Farm Turf Cup, $1 million purse. They go a mile and a half as they uh, did in the final race there on the Thursday card. So uh, it's kind of odd on the video. They they break from the gate and they're kind of running away from the camera, and then they take that sharp <laughs> left-hand turn and head back up the hill. It's one of the real unique features of uh, Kentucky Downs. And um, I uh, we this, the, this was our race for the Keeneland Select video pick of the week, and so I'm going for two prices in a row. I... I hit last week on uh, Snapper Sinclair at 10 to 1. Going bigger picture, who's 8 to 1 on the morning line. And what I'm looking at with this horse, he just missed last year in this race. So, um, you know, that's a good fit. Only four starts this year. So I'm kind of thinking maybe that uh, Mike Maker, and the, and the horse has worked well, uh, a couple of good works at uh, Kentucky, or at uh, Churchill Downs training track. And I'm thinking four starts, okay, they know he can run well at this distance at this track. Let's have him as fresh as we could have him for a million-dollar purse uh, for a grade three because normally he's probably not quite good enough to run in a million-dollar race that would be a grade one. So uh, this is um, – that's kind of the, the thinking I'm coming to in getting the bigger picture here. Uh, Pilar Mountain I liked a little bit last time in the grade one up at Saratoga and ended up uh, beating about half the field in there and dropping out of a grade one. I think that horse is dangerous. Arc Low uh, loves this track and uh, always high on that horse. I think he's got a lot of quality. And then uh, I'm also going to throw in Zulu Alpha and Campaign. Campaign's really good at these marathon distances and getting back on the turf. And he won twice last fall within the span of seven days down at Kentucky Downs. So uh, he surely likes the track. So uh, bigger picture, 
but uh, probably going to maybe do a five-horse box of those horses that I mentioned within the race and uh, hopefully try to catch a, a nice exacta. How about you? I'm going to think that Art Lowe owes Florent Giroux a win. Last spring at, April, at Keeneland, um, uh, he, he was unprepared at the start and, and dropped him right there, and I thought Florent was going to take a swing at our starter. Uh, that I, we, we talked about this in, in his races since then, and he's gotten beat by a neck, a neck, and a half a length, you know, grade one and two grade twos. And I just, Florent loves this horse. He thought he was loaded for bear that day because he, he knew that, that he had plenty of horse and he just had no shot. He still hadn't won on him, but I st- I'm still going to stick with him. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take Arklow here. Arklow has beaten bigger picture recently and also beat Zulu Alpha, who's my second choice in here. But I'm going with the three three of the horses that you used uh, with Arklow, Zulu Alpha, and Bigger Picture. That's going to be the three I use in the pick four. But I, I really like Arklow. I think uh, he's he's overdue. He's always right there. He's only run one bad race in the last year and a half, and that was the Breeders' Cup Turf, a Grade One at Churchill. He may not have may not have cared for the for the given the ground that day. I just think he's going to run big at some point. And I think it's, if he's going to run big, it may as well be in a million dollar race. So I'm going to take Arklow. Yeah, I'd say he's probably the uh, the one to beat. I was uh, kind of seduced by the the price on Bigger Picture, but uh, uh, I think uh, I think they had big hopes for Arklow this year. And as you said, he's just been so close, and they haven't quite broken through. So a million dollar purse would. Uh, soften a lot of those tough beats from <laughs> earlier. All right, let's go to the pick four. Starts in the seventh, and I, I couldn't talk myself into narrowing down in some of these races, so that meant I had to take a stand somewhere, so I did it with Leinster at the front end. I'll either be done or, or rolling at the front end and have some shots at prices. So I ended up with a $75 ticket, singling Leinster. Uh, I would like to use, especially in Primus and, and White Flag and maybe Stormy Liberal, but... Just can't uh, keep the ticket affordable. So single, Leinster, then go three, four, five, seven, eight, uh, with one, three, four, five, six, seven, with five, seven, nine, ten, eleven. So that is five by six by five, with a single on the front is seventy-five dollars for fifty cents. And uh, if I can get through that first leg, then I got some shots at prices. How about you? Yeah, I, I, I kind of like that structure. If you're, you're taking a stand, you're either in or out. So, and you can bet a pick three if you if you go out. So that, that's that's another thing. Um, I structure mine a little bit differently. I've got uh, four horses in the first leg with Imprimis the three, White Flag the six, Stormy Liberal the nine, and Leinster the eight. So three, six, uh, eight, nine. Uh, second race I went two, three, five, seven with Tripper Breathless. Calio, uh, Storm the Hill, and Mitchell Road with Mitchell Road, my top pick. I went three deep in the uh, Lady Sprint with a 367, Alexandra, Painting Corners, and Morticia. And three deep in the last leg. I couldn't find a single anywhere, so I just kind of spread it all out and spent 72 bucks. And uh, I'm going to use 5, 9, 10 there with Bigger Picture, Zulu Alpha, and Arco, my top pick. So mine is 3689. With two three five seven, with three six seven, with five nine ten for seventy two bucks. It's another great card uh, throughout the day there on Saturday. Not many of these left. Uh, they race again on Sunday and then uh, next Thursday, and that's it. Belmont Park is opening this weekend. Churchill opens next week, uh, and you'll be watching a lot of college football or, or going to a game. So make sure you uh, keep your Keeneland Select account stacked up so you can. Take advantage of opportunities when uh, when you see them. You catch some overlays, especially in these Kentucky Downs races, where a, a horse is going off at a much bigger price than you expected. So you want to be able to take advantage of it. Best of luck. We'll see you next week for the In the Money podcast on KeenelandSelect.com.